I'm going to show you how to put together your brand board. You're going to open up this file in Illustrator. You're going to have your brand board here. You're going to have some blank um, artboards, and then you're going to have two more smaller ones up here. So these two small ones are your business card, the front side and the back side. This one is going to be your letterhead. This one will be your invoice, and this will be where you put your mock-ups. You do not have to do both of these. You can choose to do one or the other. It's going to be up to you, either the letterhead or the invoice. If you want to do both of them, you can go ahead and design both of them. I'm going to go through the process of each one, and I'll make a video on how to create each one, um, a rough idea on how to create each create each one. Yours I'm expecting to be different than mine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my logo up here. I'm going to ungroup these. Let me zoom in. So it says company name, your logo, be sure to add your black and white and two uh, color and, or in colored variations. You should have at least two here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this stuff and I'm going to go ahead and place my logo right here. So let's see if I saved it on here. I may have to pause it and go save it from my file. All right, so I'm going to pause it really quick and go grab my files. All right, so I have placed my logos here. So I just copied them from my artboard um, or from my, my logo design. The next thing I'm going to do is find my colors that I'm going to use. You guys uh, turned in or should have turned in your color swatches uh, last week. All you've got to do is fill in these circles just like you did with your um, your color swatches that you did last week. Just fill them in and you're going to add the hex codes. So I'm going to show you what an example finished brand board will look like. So it's going to look something like this. <clears throat> so I have my logos, I have my color, I have one without the um, design, and then I have just a black and white with the design. Um, you only are required to turn into a colored and a black and white. Um, if you only have black and white in your design, then give me some other variation, maybe just the name, just a word mark with your logo on it, or just your word, the name of your company. Um, your colors with your hex codes are going to be here. So after I fill this in with a color, to get that number that I put here, a hex code is going to be located right here. If you double click on the color picker, it's going to be this number. All right, so every color in the world has a number, and that's what that's going to be. You're just going to copy it, so control C, hit OK, and then use your type tool to come in here and type and paste it right there. Okay, control V will paste. The next thing is going to be, you're going to find inspiration, pictures or images or textures or something that inspires your brand. I need at least three. I went with images um, that inspired my brand. These are landscape images using the colors that are in my brand, colors that um, are pictures that I want um, to invoke my brand. I want my brand to feel relaxing and calm and cool. So when people um, come to me to get their photos, I want them to be relaxed and um, we're going to have a nice relaxing time. And that's the way I want my brand to be envisioned. You can um, do a Google search for things like the colors in your brand and then designs. You can use words like landscape. You can wor use words. You can even use other brands that inspire your company. Okay. so. Um, if you have a high-end jewelry store, I do not know any high-end jewelry brands because I do not wear them. It's so uh, I just typed in high-end jewelry brands and I'm going to come up with some images here and see what comes up. And like this would be a good one. So I could click here and then I could save this image, save image as, put it in my student U drive in a brand board folder and then come back in here and I'm just going to place it on my artboard and I just squared it up. Um, you don't have to do anything special to it. Just make sure that they're all the same size to crop an image. Let me show you how to do that. So if I were to place my image right here, let me ungroup these. Oops. So let me click on this one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place my image right here. So file place that one I just saved. It's going to be, I think, 
this one. Let's find out. Maybe this one. All right, so let's say I wanted to use this one. I'm going to go ahead and scale this down. I'm going to hold shift and pull in from the corners. And I just want it to be a nice square. This is a very simple brand. Um, I may or may not use the um, picture of the necklace. I will probably just use their logo. Okay, so if you find a logo that you like, then go ahead and use that. So I just resize this. Um, so I want all of my images to be the same size. Okay, so repeat that process with two other images that inspire your brand. And then right here, the fonts that are used in your logo, type out the name of the font and the actual font you used. So what I did, so in my brand, I used the font Hello and Futura Light. So I literally just typed out, my font is here, typed out the name of the font, Hello, and that's the cursive one. And then Futura is the second one. And again, I just abbreviated it. Futura Light Condensed, it's right there. Okay, so that's all I did. So if somebody goes to use my brand for something or they need to find my fonts, um, they know what they're called. All right, so that's how you're going to create this first board. I'm going to go ahead and save this as brand board example. Okay, uh, save. And you're going to hit OK, and then you're going to export, export as. Uh, we're going to export it as a JPEG, this one, and I'm going to hit Use Artboards because I want it to separate each piece. Make sure to hit Use Artboards and hit Export. Change your resolution to medium, so 150, and then hit OK. 